So I was doing some appliance shopping in Japan recently and realized they were a tad overpriced. That's a crying shame, to be honest, because I recently moved into a completely empty apartment and we needed some new appliances pronto. So I cruised on over to my local Yodobashi camera, thinking I'd be able to get some carefree, thrifty shopping done, but apparently I was wrong. Apparently, I was dead wrong. Exhibit A, here we got the rice cookers. Now, as you know, rice is a vital part of everyday life in Japan, so one would reasonably assume that they would have some affordable rice cookers, right? Well, this bad boy comes in at a cool 277 US dollars, which is kind of out of my budget. But I think if I look a little harder, I'll be able to find a better deal. See, there we go, 5,300, oh. It's actually 53,000 yen, which is almost about 500 US dollars. Well, that's out of my budget too, but it is kind of interesting how the Japanese make such high quality appliances to warrant such a high price. They probably got some space age technology rigged into these things to create the rice of your dreams. I mean, they're basically just cooking rice at the end of the day, but perhaps they're more aerodynamic than the rice cookers I'm used to in America. And holy Honshu Island, baby, what the heck is going on around here? Does this thing have a fission reactor inside? Does it have a particle accelerator? This thing's got some artificial intelligence or something? Anyway, I don't know what the hell's going on around here, but I'm just trying to find myself a freaking rice cooker and wait a sec, is that rice on fire? It looks like this thing is causing a metaphysical reaction and those rice grains are transcending space and time. I think that rice just attained moksha, so let's take a look at that price tag and oh, man. Well, this rice cooker does turn rice grains into luminous beings, so I guess I should have seen that price tag coming. Okay, well, I don't need to eat rice. There's plenty of other foods in the sea, right? All I really need is a refrigerator, a frying pan, and some basic utensils, and I'll have enough to get by. And what in the wide, wide world of sports is going on here? We got a $3,500 refrigerator on our hands. This I gotta see. So they got some stuff inside here for demonstration purposes, and they got dishwashing liquid and paper towels. I don't usually store paper towels inside my fridge. Must be some kind of Eastern thing. What other delights do they got in here? They got a pot and pan made straight out of paper. They also got a beach ball looking watermelon. I guess those are more suitable for demonstration purposes. But still, $3,500 for a refrigerator? I'm not really convinced. I mean, get a load of this piece of work. This is almost 4,000 US dollars. What does this thing have? Does it contain the fountain of eternal youth? Does it hold the very meaning of life itself? Nope, it's just got 2D representations of beer to show you how much booze is humanly possible to shove on one shelf. Anyway, this is a bit outside the budget I was hoping for. I didn't want a turbo fridge, I just wanted something to keep my cold cuts cold and my leftovers left over. Okay, I get it. There's some expensive refrigerators in Japan, no problem. I'll just live off some non-perishable items for a while, but it is summertime, so I should at least invest in a floor fan, right? And you can see where this is going. A $160 floor fan, huh? I was thinking more like 10 bucks. Check out this one, it's got a wind twizzler inside, so you know it's gonna cost the big bucks. There we go, baby, $270. I hope it at least includes the wind twizzler. I mean, am I being punked here or what? We're just talking about floor fans here, people. We're not gonna travel to another galaxy. We're just trying to get some airflow over here. Yeah, I see your promotional propaganda poster, but I don't buy it. I can create fake infrared images and fancy schmancy diagrams too. In fact, I'd go as far as to say as they're running some kind of scheme with these appliances. I mean, Japan's pretty cheap when it comes to food and great service, but as far as appliances are concerned, I have no idea why anyone would pay that much. I don't need a floor fan that doubles as a jet engine, and I don't need air that's infused with positive ions. All I need is a bog-standard appliance that'll improve my everyday quality of life. But I guess that's too much to ask. 
Anyway, if you want to learn about some more cost-effective ways to enjoy Japan, then feel free to check out our newly released video about how to enjoy Asakusa and the surrounding areas in the most non-touristy way possible. It's an incredible travel guide that's sure to improve your life, and I got that video link down below in the description box.